Hi, this is Danielle Dawes with a tutorial for the alleyway stamps. I've got a clean and simple card to show you today that uses two of my favourite techniques, masking and blending distress inks. I've made a mask here by die cutting a butterfly out of the centre of a piece of Express It Mask It film. And I'm just putting that down onto a card front and I'm about to blend some distress inks over the top of it. The reason I've got the paper towel there as I'm smoothing the mask down is just to make sure that I don't get any fingerprints um, on anything else. So I'm starting here with some scattered straw distress ink. Now this first section is in real time. So this is the speed that I do uh, blend the distress inks. I'm going to speed it up from here so that you don't get bored watching me uh, blend all these inks. So I start from the outside in and I always start by putting the foam on the, uh, on the mask at film or on the craft sheet so that I don't get a big splodge of ink right on the image where it's going to be. I also find it really helpful to start uh, very subtly. So now I'm going in with some spice marmalade and you can see I'm just adding a tiny bit of colour just to the edges and I'll go back and deepen that colour further. I've found that by doing it this way I, I end up getting a much better blended image all over um, and it just suits the way that I, that I work. So now I'll speed this up and you can see the way the spiced marmalade is uh, accenting the scattered straw. So the next colour that I'm going to go in with uh, in a moment that you'll see is Rusty Hinge. Now with the, the blending foams, um, they are really fantastic with, as you can see me using, their, using the ink on the entire blending foam. For this one, I'm just using it on the very edge, so you might be able to see me have the, the blending tool at a slight angle. That's because I don't want to have too much of rusty hinge, particularly in the middle where I get to this section here. Now that looks like I'm doing big large strokes over the entire image, at, I'm actually lifting off um, as, as I get onto the paper there. So now I go backwards, so I'll go back to the spiced marmalade and do a general coverage to blend it all back together and again with scattered straw. And that just works for me, that's the way that I really find is the best way for me with blending inks. So that's the ink blending part done. So you want to clean up your work surface. And now I'm going to go in with some white pigment ink and using a stamp from Awesome Blossom, I'm going to overlay this image repeatedly on there. Now on the side here, you can see me stamping off. Now hopefully you can see on the video that some of the distress ink has lifted up. So uh, on the stamp itself, the some a little bit of the orange distress ink will come up. So you wanna make sure that you stamp that off before you go back to the pigment ink pad and ink up again, because otherwise you'll end up with little orange smears all over, uh, all over your white ink pad. So obviously I've sped this up um, and it's really just a matter of looking at, it, looking at it as you go, figuring out where you want the different images to overlap. And then peeling off the mask yet. Uh, mask. So I'll reuse that mask later for other cards. And this is it, the final card. Thanks for watching.